Welcome back. We're looking once again at ninjas, but this time they're winning. Let's kick things off with this bloody legend right here. His moves are silky AF. There's a front flippy and another front flippy, a third front flippy, and he finishes on a ground shattering, bone crunching, heroic power stance. Forget Van Damme. This fella should have been the lead in Street Fighter. Don't judge a book by its cover. He has grace, control, and yeah, let's not lie, a beer gut that's taken years to cultivate. He's relatable. Power stance. I demand more flippies. Here's a bunch of teamwork flippy spinny moves. Everyone in this class could form a superhero squad. They've got a lot to offer the world. Skills, unity, kick your ass then give you a hug. Check out this dead set legend proving that even when you're missing a leg you can still be an elite martial artist. Young Eddie from Tekken here is OPAF. He drops the crutch, but it doesn't matter. It was overrated. His opponent picks it up and threatens to whack him with it. He's too quick. Let's have a look at weapons. This bloke combines ballet with traditional sword play. He's a mad bastard, bringing a fine arts degree to a knife fight. Watching him do his moves is like watching a plastic bag floating on the wind. It's relaxing, of course. The plastic bag couldn't fucking decapitate you. I do have to wonder how he'd go in a pub fight in Tasmania. Would these moves hold up? Or would he get knocked out with a pint glass in 10 seconds? If he did this move in the middle of the room, guts would probably fly everywhere. Here's a kid with nunchucks. He's not even a growing ass adult and he's got more testosterone in him than I do. Seriously, I have no chest hair. Don't ever break this Sheila's heart or she will serve you yours on a plate. As for your other organs and body parts, they'll be sliced and diced and put into a sausage or a stew. I don't know. My point is always reply to her fucking text messages in a timely manner. Have a look at this combo. A big fuck you, nah, fuck you, nah, fuck you, nah, fuck you to all these boards. Combo breaker! Can she kick three at once? She can. She can. Yeah! Piss off. No way anyone can hit a target that tall. Who are you fighting? The giant in Game of Thrones? Whammy! Nah, that's a huge aerial spinny kick. Knocks it out of the park. Color me impressed. Oh, yeah, Ninja Corgi. I would definitely let Ninja Corgi join my superhero team. Again, you can't judge a book by its cover. This little wanker has a shitload of speed and agility and a fair dinkum fighting spirit. Plus, inbuilt teeth as weapons. Okay, the owner is being a show pony now. Ninja Corgi is overwhelmed. Finally, in the Philippines, some say that Avatar has been discovered. And I can confirm he's a waterbender. You can see the bending techniques on full display. The special effects here are leaps and bounds over M. Night Shyamalan's live action remake. He's definitely not taking advantage of inclement weather. Fuck yes, water bending and martial arts and ninjas. And a friendly reminder to always reply to this Sheila's text messages in a timely manner.